So Nusantara OS latest version which is based on Android 13 of course the new version is out version 5.1 some things which are added and which are removed everything I'll show you in this video and alongside with that I found some of the bugs in this one yes I found some bugs I'll talk about all those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end the version which we are talking about here is version 5.1 as I just mentioned and yes Android 13 of course official version is available for a lot of devices so far if your device is supported for the official version if you already got the update it's good if you haven't got the update yet you will get very very soon the version i'm using here uh, on the device which i'm using right now is me 11x so it's available for that device and let me show you some of the things first of all the default launcher yes you don't have the pixel launcher etc but you have the icon back support available in this default launcher so that's good if i move on the home screen options you have some of the options related to themed icons and double tap options where you have the option to customize your double tap i mean you don't have the option to double tap to lock only we have flashlight clear notification notifications etc etc we have google search bar etc other things are available app drawer has one option called show icon labels or if you want, if you want to hide those labels it, it's up, up to you and miscellaneous have there some developer options which are actually not working yes this is the first bug which i found Nusantara launcher keeps stopping if i enable if i check out the developer options this is not working in my case and alongside with that let me show you things in themed icons if i check out if i give you the hint about themed icons if you're able to notice instagram and open camera app icons are not theming it's not because these icons are not themed these are actually themed officially but in this version it's not theming and alongside with that sometimes some icons are theming some icons are not like in previous case the messaging app the message google messages app icon was not theming so kind of disappointment these are the two bugs which i found so far other than else if i move on the quick settings panel we have the light quick settings panel background if you're using light mode if you're using dark mode of course the dark quick settings panel in my opinion of course i love this thing if you're watching me, me from some time you already probably know about that other than else android 13 things are of course present i'm not going to talk about the android 13 features i have a specific video already available in nusantara settings in settings ui you can see the settings ui is almost same like the previous update so no major changes in the settings ui it's absolutely same one thing let me show you because we got two bugs so that is why let me confirm with you that safeness status has no issues don't worry those two bugs were of course there but safeness status is passing so if you want to use this custom room without root and you want to use some banking apps etc you can use those things if you want to here are some nusantara wings which means some customizations which are available system lock screen status bar and hardware these are the customization features or customization options which are available in this nusantara wings customization section where if i move on to these customization section briefly we have this game space which is basically same like evolution xos if you have used evolution xos on your device and if you know how evolution x is performing the game space is exactly like that we have the notification mode option where you have the option to customize that heads up retigger or danmaku we have a disable usb debugging and some of the same options which are available in evolution xos game space options so yes this is almost same like that which we found in the central OS latest version if i move on the theming options i don't know why some of the things are not available some things are quite good some things are just okay okay but the ui in my case or you can see the sorting is just not good to be honest i'm not sure though why yes we have icon shape options available we have the wallpaper color or you can use the custom colors if you want to but no major customizations unfortunately if i move on to the miscellaneous option we have the very useful feature called swipe to screenshot and only two else options called double tap to sleep on status bar and double tap to sleep on lock screen only these options are available in miscellaneous if i move on to the lock screen customizations of course lock screen have the lock screen charging info some of the clock styles options are available where we have analog and bubble style we have the media cover art options available fingerprint preference no customizations it's empty so yes you might consider it as a bug but yes this is what we have in status bar we have some of the customizations related to battery clock icons quick settings etc the options are basically same no major customizations one thing if you're able to notice at the status bar of course the nusantara logo option is present there but we don't have the voltage icon 
we don't have the wo wifi icon my device carrier supports the wo wifi and i always use that feature unfortunately it's not present here so kind of disappointing and yes this is what we have buttons same kind of options media controller and perhaps volume control and etc etc these are things which we have available this was all from today's short and simple video link is available if you want to install this thing it's optional you can if you want to ignore this it's up to you thanks for watching and also next video goodbye